Well, that's a good question, actually, uh, how this happened. Uh, it looks like uh, this is um, the responsibility of those who are controlling the country, those who are governing or supposedly governing the country, uh, meaning the government. Uh, when the police is not uh, uh, willing to intervene as it should be uh, in, uh, in the different situations uh, created in our villages and towns, when uh, uh, when uh, the government in six months since it was established did not run even one meeting trying to um, examine what is happening and how uh, they should be dealing with the situation. That tells you um, uh, how we got to this situation. If, if they had suspected that one or two of the guns that are existing in our society will be pointed or they will try to uh, uh, point it out to the Jewish community, you would have seen the government and the police uh, dealing with those uh, uh, weapons in a different way. They will find it, they will take it, and they will convict those who have those guns in their hands. Look, this you mentioned the government in the last six months. and. Definitely, there's an argument. Things have not gone well in the last six months. And this is a new cast of characters, though, in the last six months. Okay, this, These trends have been taking place for the last 20 years under all the various governments, including the one including the Rom Party recently here. So should the government or any government, Israeli government, be marching large police forces into Arab towns? I mean, is that the solution that, that people want? First of all, we want our security back. We want to live in a secure situation. We deserve that. We are citizens. And uh, in any normal country, the uh, 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 state is responsible for the security of its citizens. I did not mean only this government. All the governments are responsible. And let me remind you, there was a government with Ram in it. But there before that, Netanyahu also was a prime minister. So it's... Um, a result of years and years of, I'm not saying it's a negligence. It, uh, on the contrary, I think it's a policy that is when is going out of control. The policy of leaving our country, uh, our uh, villages and towns as the backyard of the state. Nobody care what is happening in the backyard there. And now it is explo exploding and they need to take care of the situation. If it is by uh, bringing more police forces, if it is by uh, um, uh, the police acting in much benefit, uh, um, in much efficient way, or in any other ways to uh, control the situation. This is not violence case in the meaning of uh, uh, se uh, social violence. These are organized uh, 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 criminals. These are uh, but they're emerging, but, they, but they're locals. Crime. But, but I, I, these are locals. The organized so crime what, elements. These so are people from the town. Local? What do you mean local? I mean, these aren't very what big cities, by and large. And many argue, and I want to get your response to this. Some argue that you know there's some indicative elements within Arab society here that are more prone to infighting between big families or organized families. Let's say that. Can there be change from within? You know, there's the societal change to say this isn't the way we no, want our no, towns no, to be structured. No, 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 no. This is helping the government to take her hands out and to say we are not responsible. This is a social issue. This is not a social issue. This is organized crime. And if it was existing in a, a Jewish city or a Jewish town, the government would have responded in a different way. These are organized uh, 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 criminals, they have their own weapons and they have their army. And the army is not the family. The army are young men who are paid to do this uh, uh, job like any mafia all over the world. Look, have there In been any, any prominent local leaders, though? Society, you know, any, any prominent excuse. Arab leaders who are, who are pushing back on this, who are, who are doing anything effective to, to fight it within their societies? What do you mean? What should I do as a, a, a leader? Should I go out and confront with people who have weapons? We are demonstrating. We are saying very clearly we don't want any kind of social engagement with people who are criminals. We are putting our lives 
house under threat because of confronting the, those criminals. And we don't have any any uh, efficient way to do it because when you have people who have guns, you can speak as much as you want. You cannot confront those people. This what is about the an teenagers? economic what about, what about establishment. Youth? You know, are there are there programs in place to try to get kids to steer away? I mean, I, you know, I come from the United States. There's violent communities where gangs are recruiting kids all the time. But there's programs that are trying to steer these kids away. That are teaching them another way from within their neighborhoods. Does there need to be more of that happening on, on the small level, on the neighborhood level? We are trying our best, but you know, you need to understand that when you are dealing with a situation where 40 percent of our young people don't have any opportunity for a job or for education, then it's very, very difficult to what are you going to offer them in order to survive in such a very uh, 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 economic bad situation. And I'm, I'm sorry to cut we in on you again, but I, I want to make sure best. to get a point out here that if you could describe to us the minute we have left, the level of fear that people are living with, it, how, how damaging, damaging this is to daily life. Well, um, uh, you can imagine yesterday it was uh, a, a, an evening of a, a holiday, of an right. Adha uh, holiday, and people after having nine cases of uh, uh, fire, uh, uh, gunfire, and of attacks on on uh, people, for example, in one case you sh you showed that that video of um, a, a young uh, child who went to ha yeah, to the horrifying. barber, horrifying. Uh, preparing for the Eid, and in other situations no, it's, it's where affecting people all facets. went. I, I'm sorry for the limited time we have in this. I don't, to Musliman. Thanks for being with. Thus.